Hey, what is up everyone? Matt Tursik, Seth Murphy. We are here at 929 Cumberland Road here in Lake Oswego's Forest Hills neighborhood. This one's listed by Terry Sprague, so thank you Terry very much for letting us tour this fantastic house. This one is going to be a six bedroom, six and a half bathroom. This is 5,100 square feet and you are sitting on a point three acre lot. The house sits nicely elevated from the street. You can see there's a two car garage. It's actually tandem, so you can fit four vehicles in this garage. And then the exterior is all a hard coat stucco with beautiful tile roof, copper gutters, and overall just a very, very high level of craftsmanship and build quality here. A lot of the woodwork and brick in the house has actually been imported directly from France, really giving it that authentic feel. Now coming straight down this hall, as Matt mentioned, these floors are imported from France. You get this beautiful French door out to your courtyard, which we will get to. The brick right here, also imported from France, and you get welcomed into this enormous great room. These beams, 300 years old. This is a limestone fireplace never once been used. The first thing you feel when walking into this room is really just the scale. You have these massive vaulted ceilings and in the pictures, it really doesn't do it justice. You have to walk through this house to really appreciate it. And I love how it's open to the kitchen. Not only do you have a massive island right there, but you have this peninsula. Backsplash tile imported directly from Belgium actually and top-notch cabinetry, Wolf Sub-Zero. We've got the Sub-Zero built in right here, an additional Sub-Zero built in right here. This room is probably one of my favorites. It's set up really as a pantry, but you've also got a small desk, perfect for mail, beautiful light fixtures throughout. Of course, double oven, double sink, wine cooler, ice maker, double dishwasher, and trash compactor. And right off the kitchen is where you have this door, which gives you access to your garage right behind Sam. This house is actually equipped with a full radiant heat system. So this basement is one of the warmer ones. It works really nicely with the hardwood down here. You can see the rich woodwork going all the way up the walls, and you've got the beams that match upstairs. This would be the perfect space for like a home theater, integrated sound system. There's actually a control floor system in the house. So you're already all set with the home automation. And along with everything Matt said behind Sam is that bedroom over around this corner. You have the largest wine cooler I have seen that Matt is getting into. You have a little space as a bar top, storage right here, and your bathroom right behind that. And then rounding out the main floor here, you have a beautiful dining room off the right. And as we go towards the upstairs, you have someone knocking in a closet. I'm stuck. Uh, uh, you guys caught us. We, we were trying to have Seth pop out of the closet, but he's stuck. Oh, oh guys, I made it. One thing about this house that I just found out in there um, is that all of these closets, when the door's shut, they have automatic lights that turn off anyways. Wow, that's stressing for a second. <laughs> now, continuing on, we are still on the main floor here. You have a beautiful utility room. Not only do you have the washer and dryer, you have a drying cabin. So this thing has a built-in heater as well as fans. Beautiful half bath, again, keeping with the style of the house. I love the tile work. And then a small little nursery or home office right here with beautiful built-ins and full closet overlooking the front courtyard. Now coming into your primary suite, you get good natural light from the backyard. Beautiful French doors that open up to your private courtyard. Tiny little gas fireplace and now coming in to your primary bathroom. Amazing tile work throughout. You got dual vanity, you have a built-in bathtub with natural light coming in from your private patio backyard again. Huge steam shower with the built-in bench. Now coming over here to your expansive primary closet. Plenty of built-ins, built-in drawers, natural light coming in from your side yard. Exact same size as my apartment. All right, so coming upstairs finally, we've got a beautiful utility room over here on the right-hand side. I love this like nice little loft area with the oversized skylight. And probably one of my favorite features, it's gotta be these star light fixtures. You've got three of them right here, and then four total bedrooms upstairs. Yeah, all of those four bedrooms are suites, by the way. There's two down there, two right here. We're gonna bring you into this one right now. Walking in here, beautiful light fixtures. You actually have your own patio up here. This is actually overlooking Tryon Creek Park, which is just right across the street. For perspective, this Forest Hills neighborhood is right adjacent to First Edition and one of the most walkable and desirable neighborhoods in all of Lake Oswego because of that. In addition to the walkability downtown, you've also got Forest Hills Lake Easement where they're undergoing a massive renovation on that dock in the next couple years here. Now coming into this other suite, 
same setup. You got your bathroom here, closet with built-ins here. In this one, you have a great view of your backyard. And as we go through all these bedrooms, I just wanna point out the quality and fit and finish in each bathroom as well as the bedrooms. You have this beautiful hardwood that's continued in and then high-end finishes such as the marble countertops, subway tile, and just the penny tiles on the floor with beautiful built-ins in each bathroom. And now we are finally outside. We've talked about it throughout the whole video. Here's your private courtyard, beautiful brickwork done all around here. You have access from the primary bedroom as well as the living room. Mature landscaping, it feels super private and quiet back here. Matt, what are you noticing from this space? You have some slight elevation gain right here with the topography of the lot. It's about a third of an acre. One of the things I will point out is this property is fully fenced and you do have professional irrigation as well as outdoor lighting. This is what is the Willow Shed. This is a subcategory of Tuesday Tours, so come on in. You have your front entrance right here and it opens up to this beautiful space with endless possibilities. And another cool thing about this property is this tree right here. At some point in time, it split, and then at another point in time, it reconnected all the way up. What do you guys think happened to this tree? Please leave it in the comments. And that's where we're gonna actually wrap it up, right here in the sandbox this week. Again, fantastic location. Thank you, Terry, so much for letting us tour. This one listed at 2.8 million, and it's walking distance to first edition, Forest Hills Elementary. It's got everything you want in a Lake Oswego home, and I actually think it's an incredible value at the current list price. Thank you guys so much for watching another summit of Take a Tour Tuesday. I'm Seth Murphy, this is Matt Tursick. Please like, leave a comment about what you guys want to see, or if you have any questions about the area or this specific home, don't forget to subscribe. It helps us out a lot, and we'll see you guys next Tuesday.